All right, so we're going to, first of all, we're going to create a Kafka project. So let us just create that. And we're going to deploy a Kafka cluster. So I'm just going to kick that off and we will have a look at what we're doing there. Um, that's very simple, just um, creating a Kafka cluster, um, free replica set, just call it my cluster. Nothing, nothing too unusual about that. Um, we should wait for these pods to come up. All right, so they'll, they'll be they'll be a minute or so just to start up. And once it's up and running, then we're gonna, we're gonna deploy the Kafka Knative eventing component. So this is the component which is gonna you know, create the link between the Kafka uh, cluster, you know, looking at a particular topic and creating a, a Knative event from that and you know, send that event to whatever sync uh, we define. So, so this is the Knative event in Kafka YAML. Let's just have a quick look at that. Um, it's again, we deployed this as an operator. So I'm just, uh, configuring this. I'm, I'm pointing it towards my, um, my Kafka cluster, which I'm, I'm just spinning up at the moment. And, uh, once that's done, we will, we will deploy that. All right. Should be nearly there. There we go. Let's just have a look again. That's all fine. So our Kafka cluster is up and running. Let us deploy our uh, Knative event in Kafka. CRD, let's just do that. And we're also going to create, um, just for, you know, for this example, we're just going to create a topic called my topic and we'll, um, we'll create some messages in that in a second. So, so this is our Kafka topic YAML here. Um, that's just a uh, kind Kafka topic. That's the name of it. Um, you know, some partition information and so on there and the name of the cluster. So let us do that. And once that's done, if I run this uh, command, this will list the topics that we have on our cluster. We should see my topic to find that. There we go. So there's, my, there's our, our topic. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, set up a Kafka source and we're going to say that we're, we're looking for messages in the, the my topic topic and we're going to emit events to this sync. So whenever we receive a message in that topic, we're going to emit it as a cloud event event to our uh, event display Node.js service. Okay, so let's go back into the Knative test. Um, project and we will create our, our Kafka event source okay so there's our, uh, our Kafka event source so that's going to do again do the job just bridging between Kafka and our sync it's going to be looking at you know monitoring those um, you know, the, the topic that we defined for messages. So that should be running. If you just give that a second, there you go. So that's running. Uh, and if I do OC get sources again, we should be good. Should give that a second. There we go. So this is our Kafka source. Uh, it's ready. Um, it's got the correct topic listed here and the bootstrap, uh, bootstrap service and so on listed. So that's good to go. So what we'll do is we will now create um, just some dummy messages on that uh, on that topic. We should see our container spun up and spinning up those messages. So I'm just going to use this command to um, allow us to uh, create messages on that particular topic. There we go, I'll get the prompt, and let me just put in a little bit of JSON, um, and then we'll come out of here. So if we look at our pods, there is our event display pod spun up, and let us have a look at the, the output from that. There we go, so there's our message. You can see that it came from 
It's, you know, it's a, it's a Kafka type message. It's still cloud event compatible. And there's the data uh, that was that was sent. All right, so um, the next example we're going to look at then is the API source example. So let's just delete the, uh, the Kafka one. And we're going to look at the API so, uh, server source one. So API server source, this is pretty interesting. This effectively allows us to uh, create events based on Kubernetes events. So for example, you know, a pod being created or deleted will create an event and send that event to whatever you define as your sync. So it's pretty easy to define. Um, you just create a, an API server source object. Um, you're telling it the service account to use. We need to set up that service account and we're defining the sync that we're going to emit these events to. So I have the, the YAML here to create the, the service account. Um, so you can see here, this we're, we're allowing it to, to get list and watch events. Um, then we're going to bind, we're going to use cluster role binding then to, bolt, to, to bind that to, um, to this events uh, SA service account in the Knative test namespace. So I'm going to just deploy that. First of all, let's just do that. And once that's done, then we're going to deploy this API server source uh, YAML then, and we should start to see some events flowing through. So, okay, so there's our, there's our API server source deployed. Um, let's just OC get sources. There we go. Okay, it's, it's not ready yet. Just have to give that a second. It should come through. There we go. Now it's ready. Um, just sometimes these can take a, a few seconds just to get themselves uh, available. So it's again, it's got the correct sync set up. It's, it's, um, it's, it's ready under the, under the, so it's got two under the ready column here. So in order to test this, if we just look at some, just have a look at the pods, um, there is our API server source pod. Um, it's running our event display Node.js deployment already because there are events happening as a result of that. But we're just gonna trigger some events now. So we're gonna just spin up a simple busy box uh, we're going to deploy a simple busy box image and then we're going to delete that part then so so let's have a look at that um, there's a busy box part running and once that is complete I will then delete it there you can see it's completed let me delete it and now we're going to look at the logs of our Knative service. There we go. So we've got quite a few um, events coming through. So again, you've got static container, busy box. Um, you've got, um, no, we've got that one again, um, query container. So all of the events related to deploying that container are coming in now as events to our um, to our server. So there's the, there's the, 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 it was started. We should see the deletion as well coming through and so on. So, so pretty simple. Um, you can, uh, very easily, um, you know, create K native events based on any, um, you know, any events coming out of your Kubernetes API. Um, there you got, there's some more, there's the, there's the deletion coming through there now as well. All right. Um, so let us delete that. And then we will go on and we will have a look at channels and subscriptions.